when you enter the, the world of science, the possibilities, the endless possibilities are appreciated by, by young scientists like myself. I'm Rainier Brentens. I'm 41 years old. I'm an MD PhD. I went to medical school at the State University of New York at Buffalo where I got my MD degree and I got my PhD degree in microbiology in the laboratory of Stanley Spinola. I thoroughly enjoy working in the laboratory. Testing you know, well-controlled hypotheses is a very, very invigorating experience to me. And I thoroughly enjoy seeing patients and interacting with patients. And the opportunity to be able to impact that in terms of, 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 of I guess in terms of survival of these patients is, is a very powerful one. The, the immune system uh, is a series of cells that uh, everybody has that protects them from foreign invaders such as bacteria and viruses and protects you from infection. When a patient develops cancer, the patient's immune system, which should be protecting him or her against that cancer, often doesn't recognize the cancer as being foreign or altered. We're using gene therapy methods to re-educate a patient's immune system so that immune system can now recognize the cancer and kill the cancer. It's critical uh, at this stage that funding be made available to investigators like myself to help generate more preclinical data which will help generate more funds or grant uh, uh, ideas for future grants as well as start uh, kickstart a, a, a clinical program which is what the Damon Runyon Foundation uh, Award has done for me. It's my belief and my hope that through the funding provided by the Dame Runyon Foundation that this approach, the use of the immune system genetically modified to eradicate cancer, won't just be deemed a promising approach, but will be considered a frontline and legitimate means of treating cancer. Mm -hmm.